Hello, today I'm going to teach you how to program this Motorola Moto Turbo Radio. So it's going to be Wave on Cloud Client. It will become from a LMR radio that was using UHF, a network radio that will be using a Wi-Fi and the internet to communicate with a different radios. In my case, that's going to be a Motorola Ion. By use the internet, we are going, of course, remove any distance limitations. You can be a very far away, but still you've got the ability to communicate exactly the same way. You press the PTT and you talk to your people. Motorola have ability to purchase special software to create a LMR network integration into Wave on Cloud. And that means you can be a very far away press PTT and that's going to be routed into your base station and from your base station into LMR network. So for example, to UHF and you will be able to talk with a different UHF or VHF only devices, but that's outside of our scope. We are going to do something that will allow us to talk from this radio over the internet to the Motorola Ion. We are not going to be touching the LMR. The LMR part is going to be uh, completely disabled. In my case, I've got the Motorola DP3441E. Just to prove you that this is a regular LMR radio using a UHF, I'm going to press PTT on my Motorola SL. And as you can see, I'm being able to talk over LMR. I release the PTT and it stopped working. This is a regular radio that you always carry and always use. And we are going to make this device work over the internet. The first thing you have to do is of course making sure that your device support the Wi-Fi. If you need to enable the entitlement ID. You can follow my video that is in the description. If you need to connect your radio to the Wi-Fi, you can also follow the video in the description. I've got those steps done. So when I press the button, Wi-Fi is on and connected. The lady is nicely telling me Wi-Fi is on and connected. The Wi-Fi is connected and that part is done. We've got access to the internet. Since this radio do not have LTE, you can only grab the internet from the Wi-Fi, but that can be your phone acting as a hotspot. So there is no problem. You can have this radio on your belt and share the internet from your Android smartphone, or you can have this in your vehicle. If you've got the Motorola from the DM series with the One E, you've got absolutely no problem with sharing the Wi-Fi from your hotspot. So you can have a mobile radio in your car and still use Wave on Cloud exactly the same way that I'm going to show you. After you've got your radio with a Wi-Fi in the state that we described, you've got a correct firmware that will support the Wave on Cloud client. Then you need to purchase a licensing for our case, this is one Android license because this device is working as an Android smartphone or, or tablet. And the separated license for the Motorola Moto Turbo Radio, long time ago they were called like a backup plan, but in general you just search for Wave on Cloud Moto Turbo. After you purchase your licensing, your distributor is going to give you access to the Wave on Cloud. They are going to set up your account and all your licensings are going to be tied into that account and you can do all the manipulation or the configuration, the talk grab assignment by yourself. The first part is going to be totally done on the computer. We are going to generate a special key that we are going to submit into our Motorola Moto Turbo Radio. We go into the panel, we go into the Users tab. I've got all the licensing assigned to that account. I'm going to hit the Add User. 
and we've got a question which type of devices we want to add and that's going to be a Moto Turbo client because this is a Moto Turbo radio. We've got ability to add the display name. I'm going to call it a base. The phone number field is disabled. We cannot put anything and that's because it is a radio without a phone number. We are going to put an email address for which the Motorola is going to send the activation code. We are not going to select allow portal access and the LMR interop. We are just going to hit OK and afterward we are going to see Our account called base has been created. The activation code was sent into the email, but I do not have access to it. So I'm just going to hit the generate button and it's going to show it to us in the browser. That's what I'm going to do. And this is our secret code that you should not share to anyone except of the end user of that device. Now we are doing the hardware part. I'm going to remove my shoulder mic and we are going to attach the programming cable and the rest is going to be done by the CPS. So let me plug in my computer to the radio. I'm going to open the CPS 2.0 and we are going to load the configuration. It should be nicely. We are pulling our code plug. As I told you in the beginning, the assumption is that Wi-Fi is done so we are going to be only covering the part that is related to the wave on cloud first we are going to go into the network tab we are going scroll to the bottom and here is the wave on cloud configuration we need to put a wave on cloud url this is going to be true for Europe if you live in a different part of the world. So I'm just going to paste that URL. And here we've got the Wave on Cloud activation code. This is the code that we've got on our portal page. So I'm just going to copy that and paste it here. If we want, we can enable the location sharing, but I don't want to do that. We go into Wi-Fi tab to make sure that we've got a set up the NTP server. So the radio is going to have a proper time. This is critical because the communication is encrypted and without a proper clock, you cannot check the certificate. So I will go into the bottom. And as you can see, I've got my NTP server correctly set up. That can be any server. You can choose one that is going to be close to your location. We also need a button that is going to switch between the LMR into the wave on cloud. So let's go into the control buttons. I'm not using the orange button to declare emergency because of that it will make an absolutely beautiful switch for our mode that's because this is one of the easiest button to tell someone over the phone to press it if you go and tell someone to press the first button someone might be confused if you go and tell someone hold the orange button for a five seconds they will exactly know what to do from the list we are going to select wave on cloud 
wave on cloud slash radio. This is going to be toggling between those two modes and I'm going to select it. The wave on cloud talk groups, they are not called channels, they are called talk groups and you do not configure them from CPS, you configure them from a portal. After you toggle your radio into wave on cloud mode, then your whole knob is going to be acting like a totally separated zone used only by the wave on cloud and configure from the internet. Let's see, do we've got everything? We've got the button for going into wave on cloud mode. We've got the Wi-Fi working. We've got the time. We've got the URL and we've got the secret code. So I believe we can hit a write and we can save our code plug. So let nicely pull that into the radio or push depending how we would like to call it. The Motorola is downloading the configuration. The radio should reboot and we should go into a regular LMR radio. It's nicely booted up. I can hear the jingle from the windows. I'm going to unplug it. Let's see, does the radio is working in the LMR mode? One, two, three, four, five. I'm going to attach the microphone for a better look on the camera so I can move it closer to the microphone. Let's check, do we have the Wi-Fi? Wi-Fi is on and connected. So as you remember, to go into Wave on Cloud, we have to long press the orange button and I'm going to do that. It was switched and it is trying to log in. As you can hear, we've got a tone that is telling us that we do not have any channel program, any talk groups. Let's go into the Motorola Wave on Cloud panel. We've got our radio that is called a base. We go into manage the talk groups. Here, as you can see, I've got a single talk group called dispatch. I'm going to select the checkbox. On the column call position, we can select on which channel selection that talk group is going to be, so let's go with a one. And we've got a regular configuration, like on the CPS, we've got the call initiate, call receive, so we can make the, like a read only, listen only. And I'm going to hit save. And now the magic should happen because this configuration should be pulled over the internet, so that radio could be in someone's hand, far away from you. You make the modification on the, on the panel and it should update by itself without any intervention. And it's done. It's done. As you can see, it's restarting. We do not have that tone and I'm pretty sure that the radio is working and when I'm going to press the PTT, one, two, three, four, five, Radio check. Radio check. As you can see, we've got the icon of the transmission, just like we would be using the LMR. But you can hear me on the Motorola Ion. Let me log in. Here we've got the Motorola Ion. We are on the dispatch. I press the PTT. One, two, three, four, five, radio check. I can raise the volume. Testing, one, two, three, four, five. And now someone from the Motorola Ion can press the PTT. One, two, three, four, five. Radio check. 
So as you can see, it is working like your normal radio, but over the internet, so we can close it down and I can make a call. One, two, three, four, five, radio check. Okay, I okay. hear you loud and clear. Testing, testing, testing. So as you can see, it's working absolutely beautiful. And if you've got the Wi-Fi hotspot, you can take it outside and you can use it as a radio. Right now, the LMR part is disabled. So if I'm going to press PTT on the LMR, it's not working. That's because right now it is a wave on cloud only. Testing, 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 testing. But by long pressing the orange button, we go into the radio mode. And now we should be able to make a call. Testing, testing, testing. testing. This is call over LMR UHF. And if we go back, we can switch into the wave on cloud. Give it a couple moment to initiate. One, two, three, four, five. Three, four, five. And right now I'm and talking right now to the I'm talking to the to the Motorola Ion. The Motorola Ion. One, two, three, four, five. Radio check. Four, five, radio check. One, two, three. So this is how you do it. This is how you make your Motorola Moto Turbo radio converted into Wave on Cloud client that can interconnect with uh, different devices from the Motorola series. Thank you very much for, Thank watching. You very much for watching. See you next time and bye-bye.